Well, there you go. This one here is our good old WooCommerce thank you page. Today I'm gonna hack it a bit and instead of showing this plain old thank you page, I'm gonna show you how to create this one here. Now you may wonder, but how long will it take? Don't worry, it's gonna take only 10 minutes or less. As you see, we're going to change our thank you page in a way like you see on the screen right now. There is a nice parallax background here, order details table, customer details, shop contact details with a map, and also some recent products over here. And if needed, you can also add a track your order form. Basically, you can add whatever you want on your custom thank you page. So let's dive in. First thing we're going to do is that we're gonna go to the plugins and add new. And now search for custom thank you page. And plugin we're going to install today is this one here. PC custom thank you page builder for WooCommerce. As you see, five star reviews, more than a thousand active installations. So let's install it and activate it. After that, you'll see a menu down below here. Go to Woo custom thank you pages. And there are a couple of things I would like to explain here. First thing is that we have to select the page as our common thank you page. Also, there is a way to add a thank you page per category. I can create multiple thank you pages and set them by category. If you would like to specify the thank you page per product, then you would have to buy a pro version. But today I'm going to just create the one thank you page for all the site. In a similar way, you can set them per category. For example, all accessories has this page as a thank you page. Lightning as this page and so on. At the moment, I'm going to delete those here. And instead, I'm going to open up the tutorial page here. As you see, there is a short video for you. But the most important part of this tab is this link short code list. Click on it. It will open up the site with all the short codes you can use. Now pay attention that you can create your custom thank you page for WooCommerce with every page builder, Gothenburg or whatever it is, because we just are going to use short codes. All the short codes we're going to use are here. Really simple. Just grab the short code, add it to the correct place and you're good to go. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go to the pages, add new, give it the title, for example, custom thank you page. Now, once again, you can use whatever page builder you would like to use. I'm using cadence blocks here, so I'm going to add a row. Now I'm going to open up the design library, hero section here, and I'm going to grab this one here. I don't need those buttons here. I'm going to de delete those. And instead of this heading, I'm going to add thank you for your order. And now I need a first name. I'm going to open up this one here. And there is a billing first name shortcode here. I'm going to grab it and add it here. Next, I'm going to paste here your order number is. And I'm going to grab this shortcode. Set it as bold. Now I'm going to duplicate this line here and I'm going to add another text. We've accepted your order and getting it ready. A confirmation email has been sent to and I'm going to grab a billing email shortcode. If needed, I can tweak the typography here. Font weight is regular line height a bit a bit bigger and is done. I'm going to open up the background settings, set it to parallax and done again. Next one, I'm going to add another row here. Next, there will be a advanced text. I'm going to paste order number details here. I'm going to add a order number Short code done. Now I need another row inside of this row. Two columns. 
first contains paragraph with order date. I'm going to grab a date here, date created, short code. And another one goes here with your payment method. Scroll down, where is the payment method? This one, payment method title. I'm going to align it to the right and set it to bold. Good. Next one, I need a order table here. So some padding here or there. I'm going to add another one down below here. And this time it's going to be order table. This one, order details. Good. Now I'm going to choose this section here. Open up border styles, box shadow. A bit less, 9%. And next one I'm going to go to the padding. I'm going to give it a 30 pixels of padding. Now I'm going to publish it. And let's see how does it work. Once again, back to the custom thank you pages settings. I'm going to set this one as a thank you page. Now I'm going to go here and add something to the cart. Check out page. And let's test it. There you go. Almost there. Most of the heavy lifting is already done. So a couple of things for me to fix here. First, I don't need a page title. Second, I don't need a top spacing. Refresh. Boom. Done. Now, next one. I'm going to add a heading here. It's customer details. I'm going to align it center. Next, I'm going to add a row here. Two columns. Inside the first column, I'm going to add a heading with billing address. It's going to be H3. 24 pixels. Now, there will be a billing full name. Next one, billing address, not bold, and done. Now I'm going to duplicate this one here and add a shipping address information. Grab this short code, add it here, also shipping full name before this one. Next I'm going to select the section. Padding is going to be a 30 pixels. Border styles, box shadow, once again 9%. Copy styles, add it to the next section, paste it, and done. Update, refresh this page, boom. We'll, we're almost there. So, basically you already are figuring out what is what here. Now, in order to keep it short, I'm not going to go through everything here. I'm just going to show you some other stuff I'm going to add here. As I said earlier, you can add whatever you would like to add on this custom thank you page. What did I do? I added a shop contact details. That is this one here is a heading. I have a row here with two columns. Account details. Those are the bank name, account name, account number, short codes. Next one, contact details for my shop. I added the icon list block here with the shop details. On this side, I added a heading with a find our shop on map. You can either embed your map here or if you're using Cadence Blocks, it has a Google Maps block you can use. Just add your address, zoom, container size if needed, for example 380 pixels, and done. Some other options here if needed, but I'm not going to do that. Next heading is, hey Johnny, you may like these recent additions, and I added a WooCommerce shortcode. 
it's going to display recent products, five of those in five columns. And last one, I added the row layout with a heading and order tracking shortcode. I can add whatever I like here, for example, my contact form if needed. Maybe this one. Let's update it, refresh it, and done. This is my map, recent products, my contact form, and order tracking form. I'm going to delete the contact form here, and once again, I'm going to refresh it. And done. Only thing I would need to configure here is the layout for mobiles and desktops, but you can do it by yourself. And as you see, creating a custom thank you page for WooCommerce isn't as hard as one might think. Wait! If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here. And take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.